In this video, we will walk you through the simple setup process to get your Kingston Iron Key Keypad 200 hardware encrypted USB flash drive ready to use. KP200 is an OS independent drive that locks and unlocks using the alphanumeric keypad on the device. Out of the box, KP200 does not have a preset pin, therefore a user pin must be configured before the drive can be used. Your user pin can be a memorable word, name, phrase, or any other alphanumeric pin combination that is easy for you to remember, but hard for anyone to guess. You simply press the key with the corresponding digit or letter on it. To create the user pin, first press the key button one time. The red, green, and blue LEDs will flash once, then the red LED will turn solid while the green LED will continue to blink. After pressing the key button two more times, the blue LED will start to blink. The drive is now ready for your user pin. Your user pin must be between 8 to 15 digits or characters, not contain any repetitive numbers such as 33333333, and not contain any consecutive numbers such as 12345678. For this video, we will be using the user pin Iron Key 1, which will be the keys 4, 7, 6, 6, 5, 3, 9, and then 1. After your user pin is entered, press the key button twice. The blinking blue LED will now switch to blinking green. Next, you will need to re-enter your user pin and press the key button two more times to confirm and save. The blinking green LED should change to a solid red, then solid green to indicate your user pin was created successfully. To unlock and use your KP200, you will press the key button once, then enter your user pin and press the key button once again. LEDs should change to a solid green and will remain on for 30 seconds while you plug your drive into any compatible USB port. You can now access your files securely from your device. Creating an admin pin is strongly recommended as it enables multi-pin mode on your drive. With multi-pin, you can restore access to the drive should one of the pins be forgotten. In addition, setting admin pin allows you to reset the user pin if needed, as well as utilize advanced drive features that are documented in the user guide. To create an admin pin, you will first need to unlock the KP200 with your user pin. Next, press and hold down the number 1 button while pressing the key button twice. The solid green LED should switch to blinking red and blue. Enter your admin pin, which follows the same requirements of the user pin. For this example, we will use the admin pin Kingston 1 which are the keys 5, 4, 6, 4, 7, 8, 6, 6, and then 1. Press the key button twice. Once the blinking red and blue LEDs change to a blinking green, re-enter your admin pin and press the key button twice again to confirm and save. Your admin pin is now set up, but it is important to note that whenever you unlock your KP200 using the admin pin, it will erase your user pin and a new one will need to be set up. For more information on additional drive settings as well as troubleshooting tips, please visit support.kingston.com.